Hello viewers, me and team here, and welcome to the final mission of the hack and slash campaign, Grave Robber. Wait, the she sees the, yeah, she's, the yawning shield of the dead from the hand of death, necromancer cult, to win the campaign. As usual, if you run away, surrender, and or are killed, you lose instantaneously. You are level capped to 25, but we'll carry things over to the next campaign that are different from what's being said. We remain on expert difficulty, which is the default, and we will start with the Equestrian's Gloves. Um, barracks and wooden ore help your opening and speed you up, but I'd rather have the guarantee of Crag Hack moving quickly. Crag Hack is very powerful now, even without artifacts, and uh, that's probably the best thing to take. Now that I gave him the Death Knight sword, Sandra wants me to fight some more necromancers for a shield. More stinking undead to fight. This is not as much fun as I thought. Well, at least this is the last thing I have to find for that puny wizard to get my reward. <laughs> Yep, Crag Hack doesn't like fighting the undead, and I don't particularly like it either. They mesh the least well with other troops, so taking over their castles as usefully is the hardest. And they give you hell. And you can't like, they're, they're immune to a lot of things also. <laughs> yeah, just think of your reward when you get the shield. And yes, the necromancers will lie to you. Yeah, there we go. Now Craig Hart's hack is starting to think sensibly. Think about all the lies you've encountered before on <laughs> Sandra's tasks. Maybe you should collect your orbs before handing over the last artifact. Yeah, maybe, Craig. I hope you remember that. Is there a reason I can't hit OK? There we go. OK. Well, all right. So this time we are using castle. And fortunately, Crag's hacks, Crag hacks skills mesh well with that. We don't really need a mage guild yet. Um, we will in the future, but for now we don't need it. So we're gonna just open barracks, build a couple marines, um, maybe some marauders, medevacs, you know, 3M. It's a good company. And work from there. Duck Kragak in here. Last time I think I had intelligence on him. Now I only have eight knowledge. So I have to be a little bit more careful, but uh, not too much. Can't build a tavern, but um, there's a town down there, so I guess we'll try and build it there. And we are short wood, ore, and gold. Can I get a capital here? No, but it, I'm maxed out on the gold building at least, so. I do have a city hall. I am getting 2,000 gold a turn from it. Useful. But, um, yeah. Anyway, lots of skeleton warriors. Bring it for the lumber. For the wood. Um. Wow, they're a little bit on the fast side. Until now. Yeah, how long has it been? And these things can't get morale. I could just cast, um, Destroy Undead. And actually, if you check it out, well, I can't do it this round. But I'll show it in a minute. Yeah, um, despite his relatively woeful spell power, I still do 100 points of damage with it because of the expert uh, air magic tag, which is what I was talking about. Like... It's underestimated, really. The amount that the magic school itself does to boost damage. And we can get by without losses with just mass slow here. And take this. Ooh, there's some good artifacts there. I'm gonna wanna grab those. Ooh. Dragonfly hive. That's gonna be a little harder to take because the flies will be all over me instantly. But I'll get some uh, wyverns, so. Ick. Yeah, they're gonna be all over me. 
Maybe they'll position themselves stupidly. Ugh, he didn't cast weakness. Do I frost ring or fireball or something? <laughs> Chain lightning, destroy undead. Uh, how about frost ring? 65 points of damage. I'll kill like three of each. Ugh. It's really lame compared to my other stuff. I could just spam out shield, although they'll just dispel anything I put on myself. Alright then. Tried and true. We are going to slow you down. Oh yes. And since they already moved, there's no sense in trying to double move them. Ugh. It's a little on the painful side, I should say. Actually, I could easily lose this battle. Poke. <laughs> Shoot. Not one of the easier fights I've been in, that's for sure. Can they all reach? kill me in one go? Probably not. I hope not. I'll just attack these guys to be safe. Uh oh. Crap. <laughs> oh jeez. Playing fast and loose here. Oh I could have done an expert earth meteor shower. What the hell is wrong with me? Well, I probably still can. But first we take these guys out. Get him with your spell power, Crag Hack. <laughs> you jerks, cut that crap out. No, don't. Uh, well, I'm gonna lose my archers and virtually everything else, but we get wyverns. I hope they were worth it. They probably were. Mage Guild. For the funsies. I don't know where my orpit is, but probably the other direction. Yep. Not particularly. They're not worth my time. These things strain my spell points, which is obnoxious. For my tremendous offense in the Wyvern, that should be okay. Wow, they're faster? Um, not for long. Suck double moving! <laughs> Look at that damage. Definitely worth what I traded to get it. I need to build up things properly. Um, crap, I should have picked up the ore probably. Let's do that. It's not the most optimal opening ever, but... Jeez. <laughs> I need all of the uh, creature dwellings I can get my hands on. How do I zombies? I don't think they can do anything to, like, reasonably high-level troops like this. I mean, granted, it's only Wyverns, and they're not the, the best level 6 ever. But they're good. They have better stats than, like, almost all of level 5s, or maybe all of them. So... They'll get their job done, that's for sure. Yeah, 
Yep, has to be cursed ground. Caution and a fair amount of troops backing you up. What's well, a fair amount? Try me. No. Well, there you have it. <laughs> and since it's cursed ground, I can't exactly abuse them. Well. There are ways, of course. Um, let's see here. Ha <laughs> So I get magic arrow. Or I should just look at everything, because it's going to show level 1s this way. <laughs> I think my best bet for not engaging them directly is magic arrow. Oh well. This might be death. Maybe not, though. I do a tremendous amount of damage to them. Yikes. <laughs> Not the most fruitful curing ever, but... Alright. Alright. Aw, oh, they killed me. Well, one of my wyverns. Two, two. What? The instant killed one? Ah, oh, that's no good. <laughs> Not good at all. I don't think I have enough magic arrows to kill everything. I certainly don't want to fight them both at once. Try it with my buff. It did reduce the damage. I'm not sure if that's good enough, though. If only I could resurrect abuse. <laughs> nah, it's good. I'm using some spells like you never see me use. <laughs> um, oh right, the undead can't be cursed either. How silly of me. Ugh. Bring it on, son. Oh, I can just kill them outright. <sighs> and we get our next hero. Okay. <laughs> Not quite the way I was planning it, but it worked. Oh my god, it's the legendary Edric with his griffin specialty annoyance. Can this be upgraded? No. It can barely be built up at all. Alright, time to pump random things I can pick up. I thought it was toast there. <laughs> Admit it, you guys, some of you guys probably did too. <laughs> And I wouldn't blame you for thinking that way. All things considered. But okay. Grab some pikemen. Yeah, what kind of artifacts do I have on me? Not the greater Nulls flail. I could make use of the shield, but... A horde of crusaders. I don't have a lot of magic. Whew, lots of vampire lords. 
Can this get a um, mage guild? Yeah. I'm gonna want that. You can teleport into that city, but you cannot teleport out of that city because of the cursed crown. So we're just gonna keep building up. Ooh, Sandro sent me some gold. Thanks for that, Sandro. You are an upstanding fellow, trying to rid the world of undead. <laughs> well, whatever. Can I build anything here of use? Yeah, I don't really have anything against griffins. <laughs> At all. Um... I mean, sure. I could take lots of vampire lords with just some pikes and some... Wyverns, right? <laughs> Please spread out into lots of stacks. I killed the regular guards and now I am the prisoner. Yeah, that was the worst possible thing they could have done, is split into large, large of stacks and then wait. <laughs> well... Sometimes things just go your way. It's easier than the other fight, because I can actually destroy the undead. Yeah, here we go. We have a level 11 knight by the name of Slash. He comes with a couple good artifacts already. A decent army, all things considered. And, uh, yeah, he's decently leveled. He's kind of a clone of the other archery specialty guy. He has absolutely nothing on Crag Hack, though, and is going to transfer his troops over. <laughs> Sorry, Slash, but you're just not that godly. Um, you could have the Greater Null Flail, though. It's only a little bit worse. And there you go. You know, I know from testing, you do not need to keep Slash to win, so... I'm just saying. All right. There we go. I will try not to lose him though, because he's a nice hero to have. And so you grab some gold. What does this say? And Roth prison, Karnak even slash. Cute. Yeah, underground's pretty much your only way off this dump, and um, I'm gonna have to go there if I want to get anything done. But I think I want to clear out the surrounding areas first. <laughs> yeah, now this stuff is going to be relatively trivial to take care of. So getting Slash early, a good thing, because that's when his troops are the most valuable to you. That's also when his experience and levels are most valuable. Not that he's ever bad to have. Of course he isn't, but... It's not the same. Um... Yeah, go back to this city. Of course, the uh, enemies are still gonna fight me like jerks. Because they are jerks. Race Dragon spell points from Harag Hack. Why wouldn't they do something like that? I mean, they are supposed to annoy me. It's like their design. Slow down, Wraiths. Double shot. And I have a good number of dudes. Um, yeah, sure, go for it. The jousting bonus for some easy kills. And basically mass slow for the win again. I'm probably a long way from a level. Yeah. This diminishing in return concept just gets you every time. Should probably grab the gold next. Could use some. Of course, liches are a little bit different in that they can shoot you, so that's a problem. Um, maybe I can get away with a haste. 
yeah, I can cut one of them from attacking me at all. And probably win the other at half speed. Well, not at all, but wore him down a bit. We got morale, maybe. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Two halberdiers to kill shooters is not the worst. Could do much worse than that. All right. <laughs> now I can build a castle. Of course, now I can. <sighs> I think I won it over our champions, though, or cavalry, or whatever. I do you need more resources before I can go further than that? I don't have any, though, which is kind of strange. Although everything's fighting me. Stupid savage undead script. Well. I guess it'd be a little odd if they were willing to join. Ooh, they let me joust him. Um, how am I on health? Yeah, I can wear this guy down a bit. Do less damage, less raising from the dead after the fact, perhaps. And I win. Again. Now there's a good artifact over here that I want, as I recall, so I'm gonna go that way. I wanna clear the rest of this then. Slash. Actually, why don't I just recruit some troops and deliver them? Although the troops I had are uh, upgraded versions, and these are not. So it's going to be a little awkward at first. Although. Awkward is my middle name, I think. We got a horde of vampires, several ghost dragons, several ghost dragons, and some useful artifacts as well as a scroll. Alright then. Definitely bring the pikes across, because I can use them. I'll throw some archers in there. <laughs> I think that's it for now. Until I can get some upgrades going. Is that enough? We shall see. They're so nasty. Please wait. Nope. Don't age me. Oh, I got aged. I could cure it off, but it's too late for that. Hmm. Pretty significant damage from my troops here. Covered eared. We can even get some decent damage out of these guys. Huh. I'm aged, but you're done. Alright. More like it. Um, can upgrade these guys. I need wood. It's a wood crisis. Where's my lumber? I don't really need this. Ah, the, <laughs> oh, this is something I was missing before. Maybe. Uh oh, maybe I should have uh, recharged my mana. Nah, I could probably get away with this. I hope. Just, you know, some standard double moving, archery skill abuse. Let's go. Ugh. Hee <laughs> hee, full damage. Oh, good. This 
These guys can't even drain health back. How's that for a lame? Alright. Piece of cake. Let's have a look-see. Nope, there's the Yawning Shield of the Dead. And the one thing I didn't show is that there are Necro Castles there, there, and there. Um, not a whole lot else. And there's a hero there, okay. So there's a couple of heroes there. I've played this map before, so obviously I know that that hero on the bottom right has some special significance. But you can also check out the layout of the land. For example, if you go up to times four magnification, you can see a shipyard here, so I need to go here to get to the Shield of the Yawning Dead. And you also see that this location with the enemy hero is somewhat suspect. So if you have these spells at expert level, you have a tremendous advantage compared to what you would normally have. And I mean, obviously, there's a Necrotown there. There's obviously a Necrotown there. And a Necrotown... It's, it's over here. I'm not sure where exactly. But there's one here as well. Probably this. Yeah, right here. And basically, they're all... They're all blocked. So without the mention door or something like it, I'm not going to be able to do anything to them. I think before Ghost Dragons, I'm going to want to recharge my mana pool a little bit. Because those first groupings of Ghost Dragons did rough me up a little bit. If I had something to match their speed, it would be useful, but I'm not going to see that until, like, oh god. Archangels. That's when I'll see that. Somebody passed the wood. But seriously. Ooh, we got some aggressive recruitment. Very nice then. All my previous archers are dead, but we got some more here. We've replaced what we have lost a little. Pikes, griffins, marksmen. You can come along, I guess. Or actually, let's get the upgraded versions. Yeah, I'm not going to get stables for a while, and therefore not going to get the Portal of Glory for a while. <laughs> actually, I'm missing a lot more than just wood for that, but yeah. Regardless. Oh, also with, um, not Town Portal, with View Earth, we can see underground. There's a path here and a path there. Both uh, correlate with the subterranean gates. So, nice. Oh, they, they, uh, we got our first monolith one-way exit invasion by this douche. The AI will be doing this on a regular and quite annoying basis, so be ready. And let's just recruit some troops down here. The annoying thing is you can't upgrade these, so you have to constantly ship them around. To deal with them, but you can't really get away with not doing that, at least at first. I better get Crag Hack down here. Now, this iteration of Crag Hack, while weaker magically than my other one, is stronger at movement. Like, he has the good old expert logistics, he has. He's, he's set up better, in my opinion. And okay, here we go. Don't send gold, send freaking resources, man. Being unreasonable. Um, great. Now I have standard archers. These guys I'm just going to have to take back and do it that way. Oh, there's a well here. Oh. Yep, first battle not too hard here. They're attacking me with relatively small forces. And if that keeps up, I'll be happy. Let's wait. Although Zai is a little bit on the strong side, apparently. And he fled! After moving his troops, he decided to flee. What a jerk. And we'll take on lots of vampire lords. Absolutely. Meanwhile, we gotta continue to build up this town. Upgrade barracks is a big draw to me right now. Especially since I have a lot of guys that can become crusaders quickly if I do it. So, alright. 
We know you've been sent by an acquaintance of ours, and what it is you seek. Be warned that the shield of the yawning dead is our relic. It has been a part of our graveyard for many years. We mobilize to stop you and will do so at all costs. More lies. <laughs> is Sandra the one who cannot be trusted? You know, the best part is that, despite Crack Hack coming off as supposedly stupid, this occurs to him before it occurs to uh, Jem. <laughs> I'm just saying, viewers. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm, I, I'm recruiting this hero because I feel like I might need the help. I don't think it's much of a reach. Did I visit this already? I did. Not that I could right now, even if I hadn't. But, um... Well, I could, but it would cost me more than it would have been worth. Switch places, please. Alright. It's going to be a little rough, probably. But we're at full mana. Almost. <laughs> Urgh! That really hurt. Oh, I always forget what the freaking lich is. These are obviously going to be the biggest problem. This might turn into a DPS war with spells, which is a little scary. At least I have a lot of griffins in my stack. It's like a really minor silver lining. But if he wants a DPS war, I can give him a DPS war. 250 points of damage to three stacks. Jerk. Let's wear down the vampire numbers or kill them entirely. That's certainly wearing them down. <laughs> I gotta say, this is pretty brutal. <laughs> Death Ripple, your army is finished. Oh, yay, I killed one. <laughs> oh boy. Well, never die easy. How many pikes are left? Enough to kill your death knight. Urgh. Hurts so badly. The problem is they got away too. That's that causes me more grief than anything else is that they escaped with that damage done to me. Oh, does that hurt? And now I have to try and quickly rebuild. No, I don't really don't want to go for a marketplace yet. Admittedly, it would allow me to buy more wood, but I think the uh, other issues are bigger right now. I'm talking about wood and things being bigger. That's great. Can I get more, please? Yes. Okay. Um, Sorsha can just go over here somewhere. That was rough. Death Ripple. Oh, man. If I could have had something that would made me immune to it. But I didn't. And I took Grievous Harm as a result. Oop, 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 oop. We can take lots of Vampire Lords regardless, however. with some mass slow. And we do have the griffins, which uh, the Arathians will tell you is the key to all wars. Okay, um, 
hard to beat destroy undead at expert level. So we're just gonna use that again. Breaking the game as always is excellent. And comes highly recommended. Yeah, well. We can clean up with these guys. Oop, oop, oop. Automate. Piece of cake. Whew. Well, we got some gold. So we can finish recruiting and start with the upgrades. Including the upgraded guardhouse. No, but here we go. Alright. A lot of crusaders all of a sudden. We might need every single one against that ludicrous death ripple spell. That hurts like crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. And I'm going to want to free up this so I can just upgrade these guys from this town straight away and keep them there. But um, I think that's going to take care of the video for uh, this one anyway, for this part. So, I'll see you in the next part, viewers. Thumbs up if you like it. And until then, the Mean Team signing off.